All right, let's go to the Nuggets side of things. Head coach Michael Malone said, remember he said his team had a, quote, soft mentality after game one? Well, after game two, he was just as critical of his team. Take a listen. Uh, I just told our players uh, it's embarrassing that a guy that hasn't been able to play for seven weeks um, was out there leaving it all on the line. And I don't think anybody else did. Uh, this was an embarrassing performance um, from myself all the way through the last player. You know, uh, we're walking out of here with our heads uh, held down, rightfully so. And there's a reason that their crowd is yelling sons and four and they're calling for a sweep because if we play like this back in Denver, uh, this is going to be a really quick series. You could say that pretty much for the Phoenix Suns roster. Uh, they've had their way with us uh, on both ends of the court. I felt we quit tonight, uh, which is something you never want to see. Um, so I, I guess for game three, I'm just going to try to find guys that will at least go out there and leave it all on the line. Uh, I may have a hard time coming up with five guys that fill that, but um, these two games, these second halves uh, have really been disappointing, and that's an understatement. That's a lot. And again, as we point out, the second game in a <laughs> row, he has really just left it all out there about his team and talking now about changing lineups. Chris, what do you make of that? Well, they're in a tight spot. Um, sometimes the coach's job is to motivate his, his or her players. Um, what you don't want in this instance, and we'll see what, how they respond, you don't want Denver, you, you, don't, you don't want Mike to lose his team. Mike right. doesn't want to lose his team. That's what I'm trying to say. Because uh, once that happens, it makes it tougher. And I mean, the fact that he's just saying, I want to put five guys together. I mean, they've got to do some soul searching right now. Um, again, they're going home. Maybe they'll feel better and get that renewed sense of confidence. But he's definitely challenging them right now. I hope that he knows his guys. And it's a big game. I mean, that's what that's what the playoffs are about. <laughs> down 2-0. You probably didn't think you'd be down 2-0. And you just got beat really bad in both of those games. So we'll see how they respond. This is all about their response and how they'll handle it as players. Yeah, the Nuggets have always responded to Michael Malone. Every comment he's made, every time he's pushed him, he's done a great job. But Chris is right. That I may not be able to find five guys or I got to find five. That right. was a jaw dropper. <laughs> and there right. is nowhere to yeah. go from soft and quit. There is no, no other verbal negative comment to be made. And I will say there was a moment in the third quarter, I think, where Facundo Campazzo was rotating to yet another wide open yes. Phoenix corner three. And you could see him as he was halfway through his rotation, put his head down and cut. Oh, and that... I guess that could be construed as like a team that was broken, but you know what? The Suns broke them. Right. That is the Suns generating one wide open three after another, and the Nuggets just saying, we're, we're out of answers. And Jokic looks gassed, and he's had to carry a huge <laughs> load without say. Jamal Murray. Michael Porter Jr. is hurt. But if they quit, if they've been playing quote-unquote soft, it's because Phoenix has taken it to them, and they are out of answers right now, and they got to find some. And, and look, we've had a great celebration of Nikola Jokic in the past couple days, the MVP being announced, and he has earned every minute of it. But earning that, doing that work, especially after Jamal Murray got hurt, it's exhausting. I mean, the reason why it was an accomplishment to watch him do what he did was because it is hard. Yep. And now we may be seeing the effect, but again... They can now get two at home, so we'll see what they can do. And he's MVP for a reason. It's what makes the playoffs so fun. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.